Hey Studio 2, Mr. Brown here. I'm so excited about the whole lot of time exhibit design challenge. In my last video, you'll remember that you picked a picture book and thought about which characters and scenes were the most important for your story. In this video, I'll give you four steps to push your project forward. Today, your first step is... Step one, pick a scene. This is the scene in which the story is the most exciting or the moment when the story changes in the biggest way. For me and my story, The Bad Seed, this is when our main character, The Bad Seed, realizes he doesn't want to be a bad seed anymore. You will need to pick your scene before moving on. Once you've done that, it's time for your next step, which is to brainstorm, sketch, and make notes. How can you make a model of this scene? What parts and pieces do you need? What materials can you use? Things like paper, tape, cardboard, glue, foam, clay, and wood might be useful. Sketch things out. Think about the characters in your story. Think about the scenes and background. Step three is to draw and write out plans for your exhibit. How can you bring this scene to life? If you were to walk through this part of the book, what would you see? What would you be able to touch and interact with? You might consider how people would walk through your exhibit. Would they move along a path? Would they move in a circle, like a straight line? Would they move at all? Thinking of the things you've designed in the past for Battle of the Brains or for the Guppy Tank Toys for Kindergarten, how can you make this exhibit fun for everyone? Step four is to gather your materials. Be creative about what you gather in your home and outside your home. Things like paper, tape, cardboard, glue, foam, clay, and wood are all great model making materials. Wow, Studio 2, you've done a lot of deep thinking today. Make sure to add your ideas and progress to the exhibit design sheet in Seesaw. Now it's time to get to making. I can't wait to see what we come up with. Talk soon.